What is up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be testing ASET NOT32 against Avast Premium Security and we're gonna be testing him against a bunch of malware. So, what type of malware are you asking? Well, all different sorts of malware. We're gonna be trying the usual unknown samples which you're very much used to if you watch this channel for a little bit now. So, we're gonna be seeing how that goes. Uh, for now, both of them are disabled. I know it doesn't look like Avast is disabled, but if we look at protection, you're going to see that they are all off. For now, of course. This is not going to stay like this the whole time. So, let me just minimize them. And this is pretty much two identical Windows 11 machines. They are both 25H2. So, if I, oh, <clears throat> if we do that, you're going to see that. You can see both of them are Windows 11 25H2, so that's that. And now I'm going to be uh, grabbing the all of the malware that we're going to be testing today and all of the tools, and I'll be back when that is done. Okay, so I have everything ready. I have everything set up. Auto runs here, process explorer here. Let me just make it look better. Okay. So we can open these folders, and we have that figured out open this folder you're gonna see same amount of samples 188 excluding maltester we don't have as much today but uh, the quality like i said of the malware samples nowadays is pretty unsatisfying i'm gonna say at least so yeah we're not gonna complicate this we're not gonna you know we're not gonna be stalling or anything like that. You've seen me try ESET. If you wanna see the settings for ESET, you can check my other videos if you have time or if you want to. This is just a head-to-head -head test between Avast and uh, ESET, of course. So now we have Maltester running. Let me also get uh, Auto, I mean, Process Explorer. And I'll put it on the bottom. So that's Process Explorer 1 and then Process Explorer 2. Yep. Now we have both of those things running. I'm gonna. We have almost everything ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and enable both of these products. So we're going to enable ESET first. There we go. ESET's enabled. Enable Avast. If I can do it in time. Okay, everything is enabled. Both products. Everything is enabled. So now we're gonna hit yes on both and we can begin. Hit yes here, hit yes here. Alright, so that is kind of it. Uh, we have a lot of problems, as you can see, that were happening between our little test. Maltester was actually like dying in both tests, unfortunately. So there was no way to really 100% test everything. But here you go, this is everything that I managed to block. I reran all of these I could. So let's check memories now. 
Also, Process Explorer died on me here. Let's check processes here as well. Okay, yeah, I think there's nothing. Because uh, it, it restarted and I went through all of them, but I don't think there's anything happening, anything wrong. Specifically, no. And there's no malware in memory. Except this, what is this? Oh, that's ESET. ESET is taking a bit of memory right now, but I don't think there's anything wrong. Yeah. So now I think that is time for to restart and remove exe folders. And we see what happens after that. So I'll be back when the restart is done. Okay, we're back at the test. And as you can see, there is some weird stuff here on the ESET side. Uh, N sudo launcher 9. I have no idea what that is. So now we're going to check auto runs and startup. Actually, we can just do auto runs so we don't need to do startup. Okay, ESET one is lagging like hell right now. Let's try Avast. Okay, Avast is completely fine. This one is bugging the hell out. Okay, now we're good. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're okay. Okay. Yeah, it might have been the thing. Uh, oh my god. Jesus Christ, you are. <laughs> Look how quickly that's going. That is like. Okay, that is not a denial of service level, but that is a lot of requests. Jesus Christ, is it going quick. Okay, I'll just I just let it run. I want to see how many uh, requests we're going to get. We're almost at 10k. Now we go 10,000 requests to NovaShadow.com, which is kind of ridiculous. And it just keeps going. But I think this is the okay 12,000. Yeah, 12,379 requests. I think that was this, and it's still going. That might have been this, actually. Okay, Windows themes. That is definitely not a good thing. Okay, and I can disable it. Awesome. That is not great. Windows driver and test scheduler as well. Huh? Let's check it here. I think there's nothing bad here. No. Let me see. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I don't think there's anything bad over here from what I'm seeing. So, yeah, he said let that through, but it's blocking it in real time. So, um, I don't know. So, this is not being blocked, but the other one is. Let's, let's jump to entry. Uh, active tasks, what we need to see. And it is, what is it called? Uh, Windows driver set that is so malicious. It is, uh, I don't see it. Is it slash slash Windows? And no, I don't think so. It's gone now. I think because I deleted it out. Where, where are we left? Uh, current version run once. Let's get there. And it's gone anyway, so that's good. So this thing is now gone. <clears throat> and so is this. Which is great, because we are still getting 15,000 requests here for some reason. Let's see if it's running. I think that might be kneecapping the whole system. Holy crap, yeah. There it is. Yeah, we're, we're gonna end that. We're gonna end that. We're gonna end that. Come on, there we go. It should shut the hell up now. It, it is not shutting the hell up. Okay, great, amazing. Let, let's do this with Frost Explorer. Maybe it's gonna die when I do that. Yeah, I see this now. Okay, let's see if we have persistence or if it's not gonna do that again. 
I don't think we have... No, yeah, it's, ESAT is going crazy because of that thing. But... I don't see that thing anymore, which is great. Oh, we're still at 18k messages, bro. The amount of times that tried connecting is like 30k in like two minutes. Kind of ridiculous in my opinion. But you know what? You know what? I'll take it. Whatever. It is gone now. We've dealt with that, so it won't connect 18,000 times in one minute. Great. So now we can finally grab second opinion scanners and see what is going on in the system. But from what I've been seeing, I don't think there will be much on either side. So. Yeah, I'll be back when I get the second opinion scanners and when they're done. Alright, so the results are in and uh, as you can see, uh, Norton Power Racer and Hitman Pro on ESET side actually found one thing and I think it's both the same... Uh, is it? Hey, it's a roaming. No, actually it's not. Okay, yeah, that is the stupid uh, game thingy. Uh... The game that you know what the thing that connected it so many times that game hack thingy and this is I don't think that's the same thing and it's a PUA so yeah in terms of nothing weird on the system Avast wins this easily actually in terms of everything being okay both of these are fine just the only problem I've had with ESAT in this test is the fact that it let that thing connect 16,000 times before we actually like saw it stop, before I actually jumped into the Process Explorer and ended it and I stopped it in auto runs as well. So that is a bit ridiculous in my opinion, but you know what, like both of these products did really well, like in my opinion. Both of these did completely fine, Avast did slightly better, so I'm giving that a win. But I did my best to run as many files as I could on both ends, despite me not being able to have the script because, you know, you know, it just kind of dies mid-test for some reason. It usually doesn't do that when we're doing the test, as you probably noticed, but this time it did, which kind of pisses me off. But then again, as you can see, I did run as many as I could and we got the best results we possibly could in that case as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it informative and thank you for everyone that already donated or will donate or wants to, you know, get the coffee subscription. You are amazing and thank you all once again. See you all in the next video.